Let's talk about the Preset Manager, which is located under Edit, Preset Manager. And you can see here that this is a menu dialog box that could contain presets for all your tools inside Photoshop. So under our drop down here, we have brushes, swatches, gradients, styles, patterns, contours, custom shapes, tools. Right now I don't have anything in here because I'm setting this up for the first time, but I'm going to show you how to load them and unload them and save them out and go from there. So Photoshop likes to have the presets in a predetermined um, location on your hard drive. You could load them from anywhere, but it sort of stores them in one location. So if we hit load here, um, right now I have some stored on my desktop that I've taken from previous versions of Photoshop that uh, I've used over the years. And so if you look at the preset folder, these are all the different presets and then I have different ones that I saved into all of these. So let's do that really quick. So in brushes, I'm just going to grab my um, Dave's 2010 and as you can see here I have other Noman Workshop artists brushes in here too because they rock some stuff. I'm going to open this up and as you can see this uh, preset manager got populated with the brushes that I had saved in from that preset. So once you have these in here you could kind of load them, unload them, delete them, um, you can shift them around however you might like. But let me talk about the different locations that these can be loaded up through Photoshop. So let's close this for now. And let's go into the folders where Photoshop likes to find these files. So I'm going to go to my Finder. And so under whatever your username is, Library, Application Support, Adobe, CS5, Presets, this is where Photoshop looks for its um, presets by default. So even though you could load them in from anywhere, like in my Photoshop folder here, like if you drop them in to this location, um, Photoshop will automatically see them because they're all set up in defaults inside of Photoshop. On the PC version, um, the location is um, Documents and Settings, Username, Application Data, Adobe, Adobe, uh, oh, sorry, Adobe Photoshop CS5, Presets. And so if you drop them in there, um, it's the same thing. When you go to load up anything, it will automatically be, be available from inside Photoshop. So let's try that really quick. So I'm going to take my preferences here. Here's my preset folder that has everything in it. And I'm going to copy them right on top of these guys. Now that I've replaced all the presets with my preferences, I'm going to go ahead and jump back into Photoshop. So let's open up our preset manager again. Let's go into loading some other things. Let's go to swatches. So I want to load my old swatches that I've used previously in CS4. And you can hit load here. And you can see right away that Photoshop went to the default folders and was looking for um, the defaults, the presets that we just copied into there. So you can see, mine is right in there. So those are my new swatches. Now there's also this triangle guy here, which allows you to um, load up other presets and other defaults inside Photoshop. And then there's also reset swatches, replace swatches, and just different ways of displaying it. I'm going to move on to gradients. And so there's the default Photoshop gradients, and I'm going to load mine. So again, it pops into the preset folder because we just copied them in there and they're right there. And again, since it appends them, you'll have duplicated ones. So delete those, load, load them in, and there you go. Moving on, styles. Now I don't think I ever really used the default ones, but I'm going to load um, the ones that I had, load them again put them in. So next time that I save these out, I could probably save them out without the default Photoshop ones and then that way they come in properly. Patterns. I could basically didn't have any patterns here, but I'm going to remove these first, load, and then here's my different patterns. And then I'm going to load a couple more. And then I'm going to load 2009 ones because I'm not exactly sure what's in that one. 
Looks like some more of the same. But okay, since you don't, I don't want all these. Like, let's just remove some of them. So the last ones I I put in were the the half tones, and they end here. So you could select them, shift select, the whole group, and you could just say delete. And you've pruned them down to what you wanted. So let's move on to contours. I didn't really have any contours or custom shapes. So let me try that anyway. Yeah, I didn't have any of those. The only other ones I would have is tools, which I like my tool presets. Um, so these I never really used. So I'm going to do control A or select all, delete these, and then load my brush presets. I'm going to load those in. And those are all my brush presets. So that's the power of the, the preset manager. Once you have those all loaded in, you're, you're all set and ready to go and everything's available in Photoshop here. But going back in, let's show you how to save some out and prune them down. So I'm going to go back into Edit, Preset Manager, and let's go into my brushes really quick. So say I don't want these guys. Get rid of them. And some of the other ones Let's see, I don't say I don't want these. Get rid of them. And these are kind of like the same. So maybe I just want a couple of those. But when you have something that we liked, we could do select them all, and we could do save set. And then right away, you could go ahead and save them to your default folder if you want, or you could save them into another folder that of your choice. But I'm going to save them out to the Photoshop default folder. So I'm going to go into Dave Funk, Library, Application Support, Adobe, CS5, Presets, and Brushes. I'm just going to put these in and call this uh, GW Demo. Save. So now if you want to load those back up, just hit the load button, and here they are. So what's cool about this is even though you're done here, if you go into the brushes or your tool presets, again, preferences that we set up before, there's always this menu on the top right where you have a whole bunch of presets where you can reset brushes, load brushes, and save brushes there too. So if you go load, it takes you to the same place where there's your brushes. And your tool presets, the same exact thing. You could do new one, or you could do preset manager from there. You could say done, or you could load, reset, save right from here. So again, it takes you right to that folder. So that's why it's handy to keep it in that folder that Adobe Photoshop looks for, because then it's always accessible from inside the program. So just to review, Edit, Preset Manager, where you can load and unload all your presets, delete them, rearrange them, and whatnot. And it also is smart to keep them in the default locations for Photoshop, so the program itself knows where to go to grab them automatically. You can also load them from the actual tools that you're using, like the gradients. You can load, save, or create a new one. Same for the brushes. In the top right, load, save, reset, replace. Tool presets. Again, load tools, save tools. So all these different locations where you can load and unload your different tools, presets, and settings. And just a reminder, if you keep your presets in the default Photoshop folder, then uh, your life will be a little bit easier.